Good afternoon, everyone. Cleveland has a hardworking and committed workforce doing the best that we can with the tools that we have. And we've shown a great deal of progress, but anyone who looks at the Cleveland work, our teachers, our leaders, and our professional staff know that we're just not there and it's just not enough. The challenge we face and the question before us is how do we rapidly accelerate the changes already begun in Cleveland? How do we create many new and better schools for our kids? How do we give those schools the tools and resources they need to succeed? How do we engage our community in an investment in Cleveland's education now and for the future? And how do we shift the conversation away from who owns schools in Ohio, on whether they're districts or charters, or to a focus on whether those schools are of high quality? These are the elements of the Cleveland Plan, and I appreciate the support of the legislators, Democrat and Republican, Senator and Representatives, for willing to engage in this conversation for my kids in Cleveland. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sandra Williams. I'm a state representative for the 11th House District and also president of the Ohio Legislative Black Caucus. Over the last several weeks, I believe it's been about three or four, the members of the delegation from Cuyahoga County, along with some of the labor unions, have been meeting with the mayor and the CEO of the schools trying to come to a compromise over the mayor's education plan. To this point, we have not come up with something that all parties can agree upon, um, but we're hoping that we can come to some type of agreement pretty soon. Um, the mayor has asked me to be a joint sponsor of his education plan. At this time, I have not committed to that yet. However, I do believe that change needs to be made. I believe that the mayor's plan has merit. I agree with about 70% of it. There are only a few things that I do not agree with, but I believe it is incumbent upon us to do something to change the lives of the children within our school district. Um, as a product of the Cleveland Public Schools, I believe that we have to do something to change the lives of the kids. With 41,000 kids in the Cleveland Public School System, I'm sure you've read the notes that only 11,400 are in schools rated excellent or effective. Over 31,000 kids within our Cleveland Public School System are in schools rated uh, academic watch or academic emergency. And to me, that's just not acceptable. My mother would not accept that for me, you know, not having a good education, and I don't think as a leader I should accept that for the kids in the Cleveland Public School System. So the fact is, 31,000 kids in failing schools, 99.97% of the kids live in poverty that attend Cleveland Public Schools. Um, the district is majority African American, and the 11th House District, which includes most of the Cleveland Public School System, is the poorest district in the state of Ohio. So I cannot stand by as a leader or a supposed leader and just do nothing about our education system. I am calling on my colleagues to join me at the table to come to a compromise with the union, the mayor, and anybody else who is interested, and come to some kind of compromise so we can better the lives of the kids within our district. The last thing anybody should want in this state or in the city of Cleveland is for our schools to be taken over by government. As you all know, with receivership, it would be three people appointed by the mayor, three people appointed by the governor, and three people appointed by the superintendent of the schools for the Department of Education. And it would take the auditor to tell us when we come out of financial emergency. Um, to me, that's not acceptable, so again, I'm asking everybody to come to the table. Thank you. Thank you and good afternoon. Um, I'm State Senator Peggy Lehner from the 6th Senate District and I also serve as Chairman of the Education Committee. Uh, first off, I would really like to commend Mayor Jackson and the entire Cleveland team for their vision, courage, and commitment to taking on one of the most challenging and important tasks that those of us as legislators have, and that is the education of our children. You've done a great deal of work on this. Mayor, and now you've come to the legislature and you've asked us for our, for our help in building a better future for the children of Cleveland. You've already heard a great deal said about the condition of the Cleveland schools. We do not need to spend time dwelling on the past or even on the present. What we are here today, today, today is to talk about creating hope and opportunity for tens of thousands of children who currently have none. I think we all recognize the challenges that you have put in front of us. To get this task accomplished, not only here in Columbus, but in Cleveland in the months ahead is going to require willingness for all of us to work together. That is why it is so significant that the four of us stand here together, Republicans and Democrats, 
House members, and Senate members. <coughs> Mayor Jackson, each of us is committed to being working with you as partners in this bold initiative. We are committed to working with our colleagues as we look at the, as the bill that just now we are seeing the first draft of to help our colleagues understand it and to gain support for this bill. We're also committed to working with all partners in the education of our children. Certainly, first and foremost, the teachers who dedicate their lives every day to not only teach, but far too often parent our children. We will take the time to listen. We will remain open to any suggestions that might improve this plan. The task ahead will be difficult. If we fail, it will be a shame. But if we fail to try, it will be a travesty. Thank you for your interest, and we ask you to, to uh, stay with us throughout this journey ahead of us.